There are settings inside YouTube Studio that will help your channel grow if you start using them. Like this one setting where you go to analytics, click audience, and scroll down to channels your audience watches. This helped us get 1.2 million views on one video. And I'm going to show you exactly how in this video. But there are tons more settings like this that top creators are using. So let me show you all nine of them. Okay, now back to this first setting. This feature analyzes your audience's behavior over the last 28 days and shows you the other channels that are similar to yours that they watch. So you can use this to understand what creators your viewers are watching and study their content. We found this creator named Marcus Jones that our audience watches. So we did a deep dive on his channel to figure out what videos he was making that our viewers liked. That's when we saw his YouTube video, 21 YouTube settings that fuck small channels with 4.7 million views. We used it as inspiration to create our own version that got 1.2 million views. So use this feature to understand what creators your viewers are watching, then study their content for video ideas. Here's another feature in advanced analytics. Go to analytics, back to advanced mode, then on the left hand side under breakdown, click traffic source then click YouTube search. These are the exact search terms users are using to find your videos. This is important because sometimes people are searching for things and finding your content, but some of the stuff they're searching for are not things you've ever made videos about. So I look at this as content ideas. Here we see Jenny Hoyos. We can see that there's people finding our channel from searching her name. And by that, we know that people are interested in Jenny Hoyos. It just makes sense for us to go ahead and make a video about Jenny Hoyos or collaborate or interview her in a video. Same thing for this other search term, teleprompter. We've never made a video about teleprompters, but people are still finding our channel because of this. We can make it easy to give them what they want and help more people find our channel by just making a video about this subject. The next feature is called inspiration. When you're in YouTube studio on the left hand side, click content. And in the top menu here, click the tab that says inspiration. Now, once you're here, ideas will automatically populate. YouTube analyzes your channel and generates video concepts specifically for your audience. And it gives you a score that shows you how popular that topic is with your viewers. And here on the right hand side, there's a section where you can add a custom topic that you want suggestions for. I'll type in YouTube live streaming, hit get suggestions, and now all the suggestions are related to that topic. When you see an idea that you like, you can click on it to see a description, you can see suggestions for hooks. You can see suggested outlines for the video and the different sections that it could have. You'll also see a bunch of trash thumbnails that you honestly should never use. And I don't know why YouTube even put them here, but like just ignore this part and come up with them yourself. And then you'll see a number of YouTube video titles that are actually pretty decent to get started with. Here's a feature that saved one of our videos. We uploaded how to upload YouTube videos for more views. And uh, this one was doing pretty terrible. Views were down, it was like a nine out of 10, and I wasn't quite sure why. When the video went live, I was changing the title, I was changing the thumbnail, but the video was just not performing any better. But then when I looked at the retention graph and I noticed that there was a huge drop off in the first 30 seconds of the video that caused most people who clicked to start the video to leave before we even dived into the content, I knew exactly what needed to change. Right here on the left side, you can click editor. And at the top, you have the trim and cut tool. I used this to trim out the intro and got right into the content. A few days later, this happened. The video went from an absolute flop to now having over 100,000 views. Here's a setting that shows you what your audience is searching for. In analytics, on the right side, click trends. This shows you topics that your audience is searching. You can hit see more to see more of the topics, or you can search for specific things. Once again, I'll type in YouTube live streams, and it shows me exactly what people are searching for around that topic. You can also click this button to go to content gaps. This shows you what your audience is searching for, but there aren't many good videos on YouTube about 
about it yet. Content gaps are huge opportunities. If people are searching for something that they can't find quality videos about, that means that you can be the first creator to make a really good video on that topic and dominate those search results. Next setting saves you time from having to copy information for every single video and manually filling out information every single time you upload. On the left hand side, click settings, then upload defaults. In the basic info section, put in the description you want for every video. For us, we add our channel information and our social media links here. Set your default visibility to unlisted so videos don't automatically go live when you upload. Click advanced mode and fill out language, monetization preferences, and everything that YouTube usually asks you for every single upload. Hit save and this will populate on every new video. Here's how you make your YouTube channel page look beautiful like top creators where they have these wonderful playlists that people can dive into. Let's use Ryan Trahan as the example. First, you need to go set up playlists. Go to content, then select the videos you want. Then click add to playlist. You can select an existing playlist to add it to, or you can go to the bottom and click new playlist to create a brand new one. I'm going to create a new playlist, and here you can edit the title and add the description. When you go to Ryan Trahan's channel, we can see all of his playlists. These playlists help organize your channel and help viewers dive into the different topics that you cover. For example, you can see his I Test It One Star playlist. In the description is I Test One Star Reviews at Hotels, Restaurants, the Okay, you, you can see it. You can go through the entire playlist and when you hit play, each of them will play, keeping viewers in that playlist. Next feature, go to analytics, then in the top right, click advanced mode. On the left panel under controls, click your channel name. Now scroll down to first 24 hours video performance. These are the top performing videos in the first day, meaning these are the videos that really engaged your audience. You can change the date range over here if you want to look at different time periods. You should look at these to inspire future videos. Sometimes it's the video topic itself, but sometimes it's just the title format and sometimes it's the thumbnail style that worked really well. Look at our top performers. We reuse this YouTube CEO thumbnail title and concept multiple times because we know it works well with our audience. You can see what elements really worked in your best videos so you can reuse them again for future content. Last setting is for YouTube Shorts. When you upload a YouTube Short, on the right side, you can add a related video. This can be a link to another short or a long form video on your channel. When someone watches your short, they'll see this link instead of just swiping away. We use this to send short form viewers to our longer videos, which increases watch time. We actually made a whole video about how top creators use this and how you can use it to hit 4,000 hours of watch time fast. If you want to see exactly how the biggest creators are using that related videos feature, watch this video right here. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, keep creating.